Hello everybody, assalamu alaikum and welcome back to another episode of FY Podcast. Today I'm very excited because I have a lady with me who I relate to a lot <laughs> because we've done, when I was watching her research, I mean I know her for a long time but when I was looking at the research, I realized that her energy is more than me. I say that your energy is more than me, so I do so many things, so how do you manage? But wow, this young lady is amazing so who is she well she's so many things it's very difficult to describe her but let me try a former supermodel um, an entrepreneur she owns a salon she owns her own makeup brand she is a mother of four children she's also an activist because I've always seen her on social media protesting with TikToker bhi hai kyunki wo videos banati rehti hai aur maze maze ke videos hote hain aur wo apna bhi mazak uda rahi hoti hai usme um aur kya karti hain wo she is uh, she's got a really great husband so she's a very successful marriage and uh, she has done lawn she has designed shoes and she is the queen of bling one and only Nadia Hussain. Nadia. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> One thing you're forgetting. Dentist, yes, dentist. dentist. She's <laughs> Thank you. So, Nadia, this is a lot. Yeah. It's yeah, a yeah. lot, you know. And then I was reading about you. Ke, and you're still young. Okay. Because, <laughs> I mean, I said young. Because you are very young. And it, at a, such an early age, itna kuch karna bada mushkil hota hai. Aur actor bhi hai bhai. Acting bhi karti hai. Hosting bhi karti hai. Ab hmm. kuch reh gaya hai. कुछ रह गया करने को अभी बहुत कुछ रहता है है ना या 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 बहुत कुछ रहता है सो वील्स वी ऑलवेज स्टार्ट एफवाई पर तो एफवाई का जो फोकस है वो हमेशा ये है कि हम लड़कियों को इम्पावर करना चाहते हैं लड़कों को भी नॉट जस्ट गर्ल्स बट वी आल्सो लाइक आर ऑडियंस टू नो द ट्रूथ हमारे मैंने देखा इंडस्ट्री में बहुत शोबिस की इंडस्ट्री ले लें या फैशन की कि लोग अब ज़्यादा सच बोलने लगे हैं सोशल मीडिया की वजह से पर बहुत कुछ ऐसी ऐसी चीज़ें हैं जिनके बारे में बात करना बहुत ज़रूरी होता है लोग नहीं बात करते हैं एंड आपकी कहानी बहुत ज़रूरी होती है बतानी बिकॉज योर स्टोरी इज़ एन इंस्परेशन फॉर सो मेनी गर्ल्स हु वॉन्ट टू बी लाइक यू हु वॉन्ट टू हैव बिजनेस और काम भी करना है मैरिज भी करनी है यू नो बच्चे भी करने हैं उनको सक्सेसफुल भी बनाना है तो लेट मी स्टार्ट राइट फ्राम द बिगिनिंग <laughs> so Nadia where were you born I was born in London Achha. yeah because my father was posted uh, he was in PIA and he was posted at that time um, so my brother and myself were both born there Achha. and it was you know I mean like a lot of people are who oh, you know like aap to badi lucky hai, but I, it's got nothing to do with me posting hui bhi thi, hmm. you know agar posting na hui bhi hoti, it wouldn't have been anything I would have been born you're in lucky Pakistan. because aapko pata hai na, aaj kal green passport yeah. or having a bahar ka passport ke andar bada farka yeah hai. of course yeah Lekin but I, I guess wo kismat ki baat thi, ho gaya, to ho gaya. Hmm. and in fact you know like right after my brother was born the law changed of the UK passport and uh, law wo aise badla ke jiske andar parent ka bhi uh, UK passport hona zaruri hai Achha. so right after my brother was born that hmm. that law changed hmm. so we were lucky that hmm. without having the hmm. parents having a UK passport we just got the passport by yeah. virtue of being born there and right. that was it and yeah. my, i was there only because my father was posted ha but ye yaad rakhein sab ke pakistan mein rehti hain aur pakistan ko hi contribution karti hain wahi pe karti hain because right. we came back soon hmm. after my brother was born i think wo shayad um, <clears throat> maybe like you know the first 4 years of my life i lived there uske baad hum pakistan jab wapas aaye hain uske baad बाहर कहीं मुल्क में रहने के लिए कभी भी नहीं गए एंड आई सुना है मैंने मैं ये भी पढ़ा था कहीं पे कि यू लिव्ड इन सी व्यू और तुम सारा वक़्त वहाँ पे जॉगिंग और yeah. साइकिलिंग भी करती yeah, थी yeah, क्या yeah, जमाने yeah. थे जब ये आप कर सकते थे यू you नो know, उस जमाने में भी आ, हमेशा से वन वुड वन वुड से कि यार हालात ख़राब है हालात ख़राब है एंड इट्स नॉट एज दो कि हालात ख़राब नहीं होते थे बिकॉज इवन एट दैट टाइम आई वॉज फॉलोड एंड यू नो बट आई स्टिल वेंट अड एंड माई मदर ऑफ कोर्स यूज टू ऑलवेज बी वर्ड कि तुम पागल हो एंड यू नो जा रही हो ये सब कर रही हो या बट यू नो आई आई वॉज सो एडमेंट कि नहीं मुझे तो करना है 
and in fact i i was like that from a very young age because uh, we when we used to be living so you know like conventional nahi ho tum basically uh i i think that you know like the family is not conventional L- yeah. you know very much it comes from the family as well mm-hmm. you know like kyunki hum main i'm i don't come from that conventional conservative kind of a background to hamesha se jo hai wo freedom di freedom mili hai and uh, like you know when we used to be living when i was a lot younger we were living in another apartment in sea view aur uh, wahan pe hum log uh, ikatthe jo bacche the uh, which is something which happens very normally yeah. ke jo bacche the pure neighborhood ke wo hum log nikal kar cycling karte you know galiyon hmm. mein idhar udhar pura hmm. waqt jo tha na hum log yahi kar rahe hote the ha hum bhi kar rahe the aur mere father bhi pie mein the so there's a there's Common a connection links. there ah, and okay. i think when you have parents like that jo ke bahar uh, travel kar rahe hote hain saath aa to unme or waise bhi i think tumhari family mein hai because let's talk about your so your father was in your mother was a homemaker my mother was no actually my mother was initially when she uh, before marriage she used to work as well she was uh, she has studied from home economics she was working in fact at uh, the pia duty free only Achha. and uh, she was like you know the whatever manager of the entire place and all of that and uh i don't really remember how my parents met i don't really never really got into all of that but um my mother was not a young uh, woman when she got married in, from today's uh, from from us zamane ke hisab se hai, huh? yeah she was 27 you know uh-huh. like when she got married uh-huh. and according to what i was told by my mother uh-huh. is that she was old you know <laughs> and, yeah. and i'm like acha like you know now when i look back i'm like that's that was not old you know but according to her at that age yeah. she used to feel that i got married late oh. but my khala got married much later so my mother was fine let's talk about the khala this is a very very talented family guys khala is no tina sani tina yeah, sani you look Sani. like her also you yeah. know because you're very tall and and my you, puppo is tabinda chinoy i know yeah, and she's yeah. a very famous pakistani female artist yeah. and uh, you know these are super ta- ye nahi ke sirf talent hai they're successful in their hmm. fields i mean tina and women women and women yeah yeah so i mean that's quite uh, kudus to that and i think also the fact i completely understand because my mother got married at 20 i think my my nani got married at 18 and my dadi got married at 13 to ye us zamane se thoda sa hum log aage aa gaye hain shukar khuda ka because you know itni young age mein to aapko pata hai na ki shaadi nahi karni chahiye yeah, development yeah. but you know we yes at that time i think it was it is considered late aur ye bahut ladkiyon ke upar stress dala stressful ho jata tha ladkiyon ke liye ke nahi ke bhai tum 27 saal ki ho gayi 25 saal se to guzarna hi nahi hai na aapne yeah, yeah, to wo yeah. to bahut hi uh, aur phir log taane bhi maarne shuru kar dete the yeah, aap, yeah. Yes, I mean, I, yeah. I do remember my mother saying, you know, that she was not. It wasn't as though that she was upset or anything. I mean, you know, she used to just mention that, mm. you know, how I was one of those who got married a bit late. You know, so I was like, yeah. okay, you know, like I, I, I think it was just a conversation or something. Not that she was like, upset or anything that mm. you know she had gotten yeah. married late or yeah. whatever. But I think, like, I do remember having some kind of a conversation. You know, so here any way, like, you know, coming back to what I, uh, my. my kind of um upbringing upbringing huh. was that you know like i uh, it it wasn't just the upbringing it was also my own drive you know like when we were living in sea view then for a, after a while we had shifted to another apartment which was close in fact to karachi jimkhana acha and so i used to walk from that apartment which was on main sharaf faisal we used to i used to walk with the chaukidar of my apartment i used to walk and i used to go for tennis wow uh, which was in the afternoons you know uh-huh. like it was like absolute like boiling hot Garmi, huh. and i used to just walk with the guard and it was not a very long walk it huh. was like about it used to take me what maximum 10 minutes huh. uh, you know but i used to just want to go because i used to be like you know the club is right close by and you know like i don't want to take the car and my father oh, was not there but there is a big problem hai ki hum log jo hai zyada outdoor nahi jaate ke bahar ke mulkon mein it's a very common thing to to live i uh, supposing downtown and walk hmm. and walk to the bus station hmm. i think maybe also it's an elitist culture but uh, also safety yeah, but ye yeah, hai yeah. ke aapke jo ghar mein aurte kaam karti hain 
वो बस में चढ़ती हैं वो बस से उतरती हैं फिर उनको घर तक आना पड़ता है सो दिस इज ऑल्सोन राइट आई वॉज वेरी यंग आई वॉज लाइक हार्डली मे बी थर्टीन फोर्टीन ईयर्स ओल्ड सो आई यूज टू जस्ट स्टिल गो विद गार्ड एंड आई यू लाइक दी आउट बिकॉज आई यूज टू वॉन्ट टू बी एक्टिव यू नो आई यूज टू आई वॉज अ वेरी स्पोर्टिव पर्सन सो आई यूज टू बी लाइक नो आई वॉन्ट टू गो एंड प्ले टेनिस सो आई वुड गो एंड आई वॉक एंड यू नो माई मदर वुड बी लाइक टायर्ड एंड शीड बी लाइक यू नो बिकॉज शी यूज टू वर्क इन द मॉर्निंग्स एज वेल शी वॉज teacher and um, first when she before marriage she used to work in that duty free and then yeah. after she got married she started teaching and all that so uh, she used to be working in the mornings and by the time she used to come back home she had this routine that she wanted to sleep and all of that and i was like you know okay i want to go to the club you know yeah, but what is this afternoon nap thing nah, my parents uh-huh. also used to make me do this and we used to pretend to sleep जब हमें बिल्कुल नहीं बिकॉज बच्चों में तो बड़ी एनर्जी होती है ना तो सारा वक्त दे वॉन्ट टू प्ले दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू मिस एनी थिंग सो ये आई कैन बट आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट फ्रॉम योर एनर्जी सो उसके बाद विच स्कूल डिड यू गो टू I was in Beacon House throughout. Okay. So okay. Uh, from <clears throat> class two onwards, I was in Beacon House, and mm. I did my A levels from Beacon House. Okay. And <clears throat> after that, you know, I just went to Dental College. And why uh, dentistry? I can't imagine Nadia was doing. Because I was always interested in sciences. It was I was Achha. never ever towards the economics or account side or right. any towards the finances. Yeah. So uh, because I was always interested in sciences, it was one of those things that you know I and then. And I also didn't want to study for too long because I used to be like, oh my god, MBBS, you know, five years, panna, but after that, specialization. I was like, oh my god, I don't know what to do, what to do. So my mother, in fact, was you know suggested uh-huh. because there were a couple of girls in our uh, close family friends who were also studying dentistry, mm-hmm. and um, <clears throat> and in fact, Dr. Arif Albi, he was our family dentist. Right. And, Mine too, uh, by the way. Yeah. So you know, like my mother, in <laughs> fact, mm-hmm. went to him, uh-huh. and uh, him being a family doctor, you know, mm-hmm. like family dentist. So my mother went to him and asked him, you know, कि भाई मुझे suggest करें कि ये अच्छा करियर है कि नहीं है एंड वट एवर नॉट सो आई रिमेंबर गोइंग एंड मीटिंग हिम आफ्टर माय ए लेवल्स एंड आल्सो वी डिस्कस्ड कॉलेजेस यू नो व्हाट कॉलेज टू अप्लाई टू सो ही वाज आल्सो वन ऑफ द पीपल हु हैड सजेस्टेड अमंग्स द अदर्स हु वी स्पोक अबाउट हु वी स्पोक टू सम ऑफ द गर्ल्स हु आर ऑलरेडी स्टडिंग इन फातमा जना डेंटल सो इवेंचुअली इट केम डाउन टू यू नो बिकॉज माई मदर सेट <clears throat> that dentistry is a kind of a career which you can do it's a medical field yeah it will not require any emergency you know like yeah. um, visits uh, and all uh. that you can work at your own convenience and you know True. blah 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 and it's True. also good money yeah. so i was like acha chalo why not let's just do it uh. you know and then so, you fell into modeling and then while you were doing this huh? yes so huh. immediately after my a levels just before i was about to start my college yeah. it, both things start happening at the, the same, same time, time. Yeah. because like i got the opportunity to do a campaign and after that you know like i was also how did it happen who discovered you uh so basically i a friend of mine right after a levels a friend hmm. of mine had um, i was doing an internship at an advertising agency and they needed a model for lakhani silk mills campaign huh. and um, <clears throat> because i was you know like always tall and lanky and thin and you know with that that did that never bothered you that you were tall were you taller than everyone in the class kuch yes, log bazaar nahi udate the tumhare मजाक नहीं बट या इन द सेंस इट यू नो आई वॉज ऑलवेज कॉल्ड खम्बा और यू नो एनी थिंग दैट वॉज लाइक माई माई nick name was kamba yeah, no, and you didn't mind kamba. no no not at all i used to be very happy about that really yeah, tum ladti yeah. wadti nahi thi tumhe no, hurt no, nahi hota tha no. I, <clears throat> i used to feel proud about it in fact wow. you know, that i'm actually so tall, tall. you know yeah. and I, i i stand out i used to feel happy about that because there was only Confidence. one other girl huh. who uh, had come into the school in a levels and even she was Tall. tall and she was in fact taller than me really so uh used so, to be yeah. like you know yeah, <laughs> the tall boys. i love it i love it i love it but you know like a lot of okay so i think nadia you were from the beginning you were a go getter so you were discovered you did the lakhani campaign yeah lakhani campaign huh? and then after that i went for a haircut to mubashir huh? khan at tariq amin yeah. and mubashir then was like oh my god where have you been who are you this that blah 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 <laughs> huh? and uh, so i was like you know well i've done this campaign you know i don't know if i really want to kind of pursue it too so much but first, i wouldn't mind first show kiya tha pehla show tha ya shoot tha <coughs> uske baad show. fashion imran qureshi ka oh. pehla show kiya tha imran qureshi ke show ke foran baad and you contacted yes, me yes because i met you at tariq amin's i was at tariq amin's yes i was at um, at uh, tariq amin's and i saw you walk in 
and I just my eyes just followed you like this. <laughs> And, I, and Mubashar was there, remember? Yeah. And I said, wow, look at this girl. Look at her height. Look at her cheekbones. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> I thought you were a little overweight. I was very difficult at that time. And I was, yes, I was not into diversity at that time. Because yeah. we were also stuck in that, no? Yeah. yeah. Uh, model thing, ka yeah. Iska patla hona chahiye, lamba hona chahiye. I, I don't think I was overweight. I was chaudi. Thi. Uh, I was big, you yeah, know? Like, yeah. I was a big girl. Yeah, yeah, broad yeah. shoulder. Yeah, 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 and, you know, like, I was yeah. big. Right. So because of that, like, huh. oh, you know, I, I, I can't say that I was fat or anything. No, I you was are. never fat. But, I but was, we weren't used to. Yeah. We were used to petite girls. Yeah. But Small so bones. Small bones. You know, and yeah. Big and, you know, exactly. So it, uh, yeah, I, I stood out differently. She's absolutely right. And I think that's just it. No? But I mean, for me, it was like, wow. Finding a tall girl and finding someone with the right bone structure yeah. and someone who's educated. It was a very novelty thing in that time. It was about 2000 when I was young. It was about 23 years ago. Wow, 23 years ago. In fact, it was before that. It was 99. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. by 2000, I had yeah. already done many covers and Haan. I was also on the cover of... Uh, she magazine's uh, 2000 millennium cover I remember wow. and that I did with Amin Gulji I did right. the shoot for yeah, that yeah. and uh, so it was a big thing you know like coming on then the millennium mein. cover of then she aaya, na, modeling mein phir, obviously ah, ha? of course yeah, so yeah, you yeah, continue yeah. doing dentistry or I modeling could, yeah. Achha, and what about okay now I have to write first crush while growing up while growing up was always Tom Cruise. <laughs> Tom Cruise? <laughs> and he's not that tall. <laughs> no, I think it was just his looks from Top yeah. Gun, you know. That was it. I had yeah, a huge yeah. Top Gun poster and, you Achha. know, of Tom Cruise. Wow. Yeah, it was always my But crush, no one, yeah. no relationship before Atif, I mean, anything else that, any broken heart, anything like that. Okay, so there were, like, you know, like, people who were interested in me, you know, like, one of those, like, school kind of, like, right. you know, crushes, Romances like, and, haan, yeah, those haan. very innocent kind haan. of ones. Uh, but uh, but there, nothing serious. Uh, there was one which eventually, you know, like, had kind of become a little bit serious. But then, you know, I think I just kind of realized that it's not really worth for it me. for me haan, because... It was too much of a, you know, I mean, there was too much of a difference of mindset. Achha. And uh, so in the meantime, I had met Atif as Haan, well. Haan, that's also a story, right? I didn't buy a stock in today's life. And when I was studying a little bit of history, I knew that that is how she met. Do you want to tell us the story? Yeah. At yeah. what age? I mean, I can't even believe that you called somebody and said, I'm going to buy stocks. Mein. Yeah, so actually my friends, because they were in banking, okay. uh, and we, uh, you know, I was always very money-minded, actually. <laughs> and my friends being in the banking field, you know, so at that time, to stocks ka bada, you know, like trading, ye, wo blah, bahut uh-huh. zada, and especially my friends, you know. So when they started discussing this, uh, we had decided that we want to invest together, and... I used to be quite busy hmm. and my friends, you know, like they were in a bit of a hurry. So they already bought and they invested and they even got the returns and all of that. And they didn't tell me about it for hmm. like at least like say two months or something. And when they finally told me that, you know, yeah, yeah, we've invested and we've already, you know, like taken it out and we've already done this. And I was like so angry. I was like, how dare you girls hmm. Invest without me because we had a plan Time. to do it together, yeah. you know. Yeah. So I was really, really, really upset with my friends. And um, so one of my friends was like, you know, okay, you know, she uses one of those like really like chilled out ones. She's like, you know, okay, chill car, you know, I'm to make a cheetah broker ka number. Dungi. You know, just casually, she's like, uh-huh. you know, okay, how just you know mm-hmm. she was literally like just shut up you know like i'll mm-hmm. give you this really cheetah brokers number i remember her words and i was like Achha, you know like batao mujhe. so i called uh, atif it was his um, office number and atif had i had already kind of socially known him yeah and he had already been interested in me from before oh. as well and we had already been set up once by another friend okay. uh, who uh, is a very common friend of ours, actually. Hmm. And uh, we, had been, I had, we had been set up, but I had no idea about it. Hmm. So I, you know, we went to this party and um, I walked off, you know, to my other friends hmm. because I didn't know that it was something set it was, up. was set uh-huh. up, you know. And then after that, I think we met again 
with friends. We met at another dinner. Again, I had no idea that you know this was something mm. which was a setup. But when you called him, then yeah. So like mm. you know, I had no idea that yeah. Atif actually was interested in me. You know, yeah. but when I called him, yeah. uh, it was after a long time actually that you know after, uh, after a gap of say like two two and a half years that I had eventually called him after all of this had happened, the setup and the dinner yeah. and whatever not. I called him. And so he, um, <clears throat> you know, like there was only those phone calls, the normal yeah, yeah. dial phones, whatever, those cord phones. And uh, we used to only have mostly landlines. So for, for somehow he had, he had my landline because of that common friend of ours. And so when I called him, you know, it showed up on his phone, you know, mm. that the landline was this number. Yeah. And he immediately knew that it was my number, you yeah. know. Um, so I was like, you know, okay, hi, this is Nadia Hussain, you know, I want to open a stock and whatever, an account and I want to invest and all that. So he's like, you know, the same day he's like, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I'll bring the form and I'll get it signed for you today only. So I was like, Achha, yaar, ye bada jaldi jaldi ho gaya, uh. so he came over in the evening and my mother was most upset. She's like, what are you doing? You know, like we have never invested in stocks. None of your family has invested in stocks. And you know, this is dangerous. And you, you know, you apna paisa to bari ho, ye kar ho. Okay, ka, ammi, kuch nahi hota. You know, like at that time, I remember I invested one lakh and, um, उस जमाने में वन लाख की बहुत वैल्यू होती थी लेकिन मैंने कहा कि अम्मी एक लाख है ठीक है डजेंट मैटर आई एम नॉट इन्वेस्टिंग चार लाख या पाँच लाख मैं एक लाख कर रही हूँ इट्स फाइन यू नो अगर मैं अगर फॉर एग्जाम्पल डूब भी जाते हैं पैसे तो एक लाख है आई वॉज लाइक आई वॉन्ट रिस्क नहीं लेगा इंसान तो कभी कुछ नहीं करेगा या सो आई डिट दैट एंड यू नो लाइक वेन वी स्टार्ट डिस्कसिंग अबाउट स्टॉक्स एंड यू नो वट टू बाय एंड वट टू सेल एंड ब्ला ब्ला बस दैट इज हाउ इट ऑल स्टार्ट so this is it so within 3 months actually i got engaged and also really? another wow. yeah another another thing i remember him <coughs> mujhe pura yaad hai because hum log obviously we used to meet at parties and socially or fashion ke zamane mein yeah. and he was tall yeah. that was the other thing you know it yeah. made you made a couple yeah. you look like a couple he's very quiet so he's always been very well mannered yeah. and very uh, decent i mean always thought that he was extremely decent and match Hmm. I thought this was a match, yeah. you know, and and. But uh, I think what made me kind of realize that he is the the ideal one. person, the one, uh. was also because soon after, actually, we got engaged in five months. But within two, three months of me meeting him, my hmm. father got very unwell, and he oh. had a heart attack, and he oh. had to undergo a bypass surgery and all of I'm that, sorry. and that was the first yeah. time. that i was exposed to hospitals mm. and i had no idea you know mm. and atif already had been very very well aware of hospitals and all mm. of that you know so it was during that time that him being constantly by my side in the, like, in the worst of times in the worst yeah, of, so i was yeah. like okay this is this is a keeper uh, yeah he's yeah, a keeper he's a keeper <laughs> <laughs> i'm so happy for that i mean i'm happy to hear this and also journey because i've seen it hmm. for over two decades now yeah. you know i can see that you're happy and that you are yourself and you can do what you want be yourself have the children and you know this is uh, it takes it takes that par- kind of partner to give you that mm. kind of confidence yes. and to support you yeah so ye ye bahut badi cheez hai and uh, so wow so i'm really happy about this the love so paper dentistry ka kya hua well dentistry as soon as i got married <clears throat> i wanted i had actually gotten pregnant and by the time i was pregnant i was it was my convocation so mm. i was just about to graduate and mm. i was 7 months pregnant on my graduation so um immediately after you that you did graduate then you did yeah 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 oh, i graduated fantastic. i oh. i was a distinction student Woo-hoo. throughout yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so okay. i graduated and then of course i couldn't work because i was about to have the baby, baby. within 3 months yeah. uh, but i um when i had the baby then after that you know like i kind of went back to modeling within right. like 2 months and then i when my son was about like first born was about like 6 months old i was like thinking you know that what should i do uh, i was like completely you know like confused what should i do so i went and i told latif i was like you know ke i was looking in the papers you know and those us zamane mein papers mein bahut zyada aate the ke clinics on sale and god knows what all so there was a clinic on sale which was very close to where i used to live and it was at that time i remember i think i don't know how it was possible it was a small clinic but the entire clinic was on sale for 3 lakhs 
Wow. At that time, you know, wow. I'm like thinking, I Not don't know whether it was my, oh. you know, what, luck, what is luck, it? Luck, 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 luck. Yeah, luck. but hmm. uh, when I went to hmm. see the clinic, I was hmm. like, you know, okay, well, maybe I should just buy the clinic and I should just start. It was a, already a set up yeah, practice, right? Ah. No, but then I kind of chickened out because I was like, you know, I don't think I can manage this. You know, this is too much because for me to do alone. Because you have a six-month-old baby also. With a six-month-old ah. baby and then trying to, you know, like start hmm. and my modeling career was at its peak, peak. you know, so I was like, you know, I was like, hmm. oh my God, I don't know what, I, if I should do this or if I should do that and I have a new baby. So I was like, okay, forget it. I'm not going to do this. And I told Atif, I was like, I'm going to start the practice once the second one is born. Thank you. So then, you know, I was like, okay, fine, forget it. <laughs> hmm. I'll think about it yeah. after the second baby yeah. is born. In the meantime, I continued my modeling. Hmm. And um, but everybody should know that Nadia had just finished. I think Nashmiya and Nadia are the only people I remember as models. Okay. I still remember. I did that show with you. I still remember that. You know, because, uh, and I was like, because obviously, you know, you have a very good seasoned supermodel or to continue that, you know, that uh, thing. And, and also it takes a lot of guts to be able to say, okay, you know, I'm back. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. I can have children. Yeah. I can be a mom but I can still be on the runway yeah and I she, did she, a pregnancy I was the first pregnant model on the yes, cover of I FAQ yes I remember that yeah that was at my first one was like about to be born I was 8 months pregnant and I remember travelling to Lahore because Athar Shazad did that shoot yeah. and it was a massive shoot it was gorgeous you know mm. with like 20 models of Pakistan right <clears throat> and um, it was a threefold cover because it, so many of us were yeah. in it and uh, so I was the first ever pregnant model on a cover of uh, a magazine in Pakistan. Yeah, yeah. You know? we still remember Demi Moore and, and you know, doing that uh, yeah. at that time. But obviously they do it with our clothes on, but, you know, in pa but still. But actually that outfit was such that it really accentuated my And tummy. also I think, Nadia, these are all stereotypes and it's very important that you can't be big as you said or you can't be that tall or you can't be pregnant or you can't be whatever hmm. color hmm. wise hmm. we had a discussion on the modeling when we had a round table for Mashan ke liye, hmm. right ke diversity is so exciting and it's so beautiful and we get stuck in things in the things and you know and, and, and so uh, breaking these Stereotypes is a very important thing. Yeah. And I think Nadia has broken a lot of said. Achha, so modeling career is going on and you've modeled for a long time. I think you've done it now. Have you done it now? Have you done it now? I've done it now. I've done it now. You know, shows if, I mean, like not that often if somebody is going to ask, you know, that okay, fine, I want you to walk, so I'll do it. But yeah. I'm not actively doing shows or even yeah. shoots. Yeah. Uh, I'm just doing personality shoots. And if somebody wants me to come and do like a walk or something, I'll just yeah. do that. But I'm not like But modeling. you did acting, no? Your first acting job came from modeling when did that start yeah that started within like the second year of my second career second year and yeah. hosting also you hosted hosting from the very beginning uh, because I was uh, <laughs> educated and yeah, I was you know speak. like I had that kind of yeah. uh, power over the language yeah, yeah. Uh, so there were in fact music programs uh, that I used to do mm. um, so those were for Indus television for at that time there was um, um, uh, STN and TM Vera, you know, to vote. I mean, you know, like that, that was the money. Mein fashion gave these other channels there. Fashion, fashion, yes. fashion, fashion TV had come to Pakistan. MTV. Then Hum Fashion could be a nice yeah. channel. Yeah, yeah, tha. Zada tha na, magazines, itne sare the yes. and all of that. And it yes. kind of just. Yes, Spiral it has down. because I used to do a program on Hum TV. Hmm. It was a music based interview program. Huh. And I used to wear halters. Huh. And I was trying to look for that for the archives, you know, trying yeah. to search it on YouTube. Yeah. I in fact, I forgot the name of it. But I used to record the program on Hum TV. I used to record it for many seasons. I used to record 40-50 episodes. Record wow. thi uske. And I used to wear halters. Like, you know, I used Zada to wear sleeveless. Thi, and I used to wear jeans and, huh. you know, like tops and huh. all of that. And I'm like thinking, my God. The like culture has changed. The culture has changed. The culture has changed. The culture has changed. The culture has different era tha. Because when I came back in around 2000 to 1990, I felt that there was a lot of freedom. Musharraf yeah. Kaira. And yeah. we had come out of 
uh, you know, he was, he, not like the other generals they are, we had more freedom. I felt like, you know, McDonald's had come to Pakistan. There yeah. was a lot of work yeah. going on. MTV aa gaya tha, Indus Music aa gaya tha. Fashion, fashion Pakistan. TV, Pakistan, <laughs> yeah. TV ho gaya tha. And fashion shows bahut ho rahe the. Yes. There was a lot and more. And international fashion shows. Yeah, and I think yeah. then it started sort of regressing towards 2008, 2009. We sort of regressing back into yeah. a different, uh, yeah. completely different era. Yeah. So uh, obviously you had contemporaries who you worked with. Who was your favorite to work with? Iraj, always. Oh, yeah, yeah. Always, Kya baat yeah. Thi, yeah. Because Iraj and myself were both of us were tall. The same height. The almost, same height. Yeah. And we, uh, paired were, together. we were always paired together. Mm. We always roomed together. Huh. We yeah. always, you know, like there was always just this mega bonding that we used yeah. to have. And uh, she was amazing, you know. I mean, I, yeah. and, and of course, there were a lot of others as well. But I always had a very, very, very Special. strong bond with yeah. Iraj. Yeah. And any international models that you used to... Because that was also... The era of the supermodels, right? Remember, let's let's look at what was happening internationally. Also, we had Cindy Crawford, we had uh, Naomi, Naomi Campbell, Campbell yeah. who's still around, looks fabulous. Claudia Schiffer, Actually, Kate they were a little bit before you. They were before me. They yes. were a little I, bit before I, I you, think early nineties. Yeah, there was Kate Moss was really yeah. Uh, yeah. you know big, yeah. and uh, I think that era of models. That era, yeah. okay. So then after that, okay, so then Abhi Nadia, my God, I can't keep up with you. Then I remember that was a lawn era, which I also went through. I exhibitions for designers, which, my God, and uh, that, that was also you or you became... So actually, I think that, you know, like that was again, um, it was a risk that I took. Uh, because there was somebody who had approached me to use my name. Right. So I was like, you know, okay, I think that, uh, and for me at that time, I remember it started off with shoes, you know, because uh, this huh, gentleman, he yeah. approached me and he said that, uh, so I'm quite an opportunist that way, you know, right. like if somebody will call me and yeah. want to talk about some business, business related mm. deal, mm. I'm not going to just instantly, you know, shut them up or anything. A lot of people are like very hesitant, oh, nahi ye wo, but you know, I'm like, okay, fine, let's explore just meet it and yeah. let's explore it. Huh. So that way I'm quite an opportunist, you know, so when I, when he called me, so I was like, you know, first I question. I was like, I'm not a designer, you know. How can I all of a sudden come up with like a shoe brand, you know? So I questioned him. I was like, you know, okay, how that'll look really stupid. And I was like, I'm a model, you know, and I'm not a designer. And he's like, you know, okay, yeah, but it's fine, you know. So I was like, okay, I mean, let's just meet and yeah, let's just see okay, what it is. And I remember that, you know, like I was like, you know, I don't want to meet in any private place. I want to meet in a public place. So I told him, I was like, you know, okay, um, I think forum ka jo food court tha, uh, wo bhi bada, you know, active uh, tha and all that. So I was like, no, let's meet at forum. Uh, and I remember we met in the food court, which is a completely public place. So I was like, you know, I'm, I don't want any private meeting. So I went there and I discussed and I was like, you know, okay, I think this is not bad. So I, uh, what I did, because this is something, I was also very close to Vinny, by the way. Uh, so what I had learned from Vinny is that, you know, if you get into any business, you know, you should own your name. Uh, so when this opportunity came, I was like, okay, fine, let's just do this. And I told the guys, like, you know, the name will be mine. It'll be my copyright, you know, like all of that. Mm -hmm. So you can't steal my name. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, you know, we'll have a we'll have a contract and everything. Mm -hmm. And so the same guy from Shoes, mm -hmm. then the next year he did, did Lawn. lawn. Huh. So it was the same guy, you know. So mm -hmm. I think I am, I would be grateful to that. I should be grateful to that, to that gentleman. For giving me that opportunity and for trusting my name, you know, to... Um, no, it wasn't just your name, no, because when you're a model, you have an aesthetic and you're used to fashion and fashion is all about design. Yeah. I mean, now it's a very common thing, right? Yeah. We know from the Kardashians that everybody becomes, you don't have to also be a designer or even yeah. have that artistic background. Yeah. You can hire designers, but you do bring something to it, to it which yeah. is your own style and your own presence it started off with Vinny doing lawn yes, and Vinny doing yeah. lawn was a huge you know success yeah. and yeah. then after that I yeah. think it kind of went Spiraled. into that yeah. direction right. where models were then hired models as Jinej Jamshed yeah. you know Shahid Afridi yeah. everyone yeah, yeah. started having brands and, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and that's a very common thing Bahar like yeah. JLo perfumes things like that and and then I think what it's done for you is it's taken that name yeah because if i look at models okay 
And, you know, people look at me and say, okay, you know, you're a businesswoman and I am a businesswoman and I was a model, but modeling for me was always a hobby. I think also with a lot of educated girls, it is the next step is to do something more, mm. right? Because you can't be a model forever, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And you have to graduate into doing businesses or doing, so. and if you don't want to, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, but larger, more beyond, there are not a lot of them. Mm. Most of them mm -hmm. going to acting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And acting is also a very speciality. Mm. Hai. Uh, can't you can't do it. it. You can't do it. Yeah. Can't do it. Everybody can't do it. Yeah. So it's yeah. also what just my dil hota in song. Ka. So, okay, so for shoes and lawn, and then uh, obviously salon, yeah. the salon yeah. recently, you know, that. And that is something that's really taken off. So, I mean, I would yeah. just say that Nadia can have so many careers, but now Nadia Hussain, now there's a franchise you told me the other yeah. day. Yes, that's yes, fantastic. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Salon. So tell us about the salon. I mean, were you interested in this? Yeah, actually, uh, I was not really, really that the, the salon was not the focus. But since I had already been in the modeling industry for approximately like 15 years, it had been because my salon is like now eight years old and mm. nine years old. And I, since I've been in the industry for yeah. approximately 24 years. Huh. Uh, so at that time, when I was when I had been in the industry for 15 years, I was like, OK, you know, like I I know that I cannot continue for too long. So I wanted to get back into dentistry or my field, something, which yeah. was something that I'd studied for. Yeah. But instead of doing dentistry, I decided that I wanted to do aesthetics. Hmm. So I went to Singapore and I did some courses in aesthetics and all of that, and which is treatments with Botox yes. and fillers yeah. and, you know, like lasers. Yeah, and, and you were very vocal about it also. People are very hesitant. Now it's very common in Pakistan. It's very common. Yeah, yeah. So common I went and I did... No, it wasn't. So at that time I went and I did courses and mm. I... In fact, when I came back, my plan was to start just an aesthetics clinic okay. and uh, to, to have like a doctor on the side to do dentistry as well. Huh. Because I was like, I don't think I can get back to dentistry huh. because I had been away for so Too long, long huh. that I was like, you know, people will never trust me oh, with the, me being in their huh. mouths. And I was like, right. you know, I don't think I want to do that either. So right. I was like, I'll do the aesthetics bit and hmm. I'll hire another doctor to do the, de to do the dentistry. Huh. And uh, so when I came back for, after doing my courses, uh, Dr. Mabrur Bhatti, who huh. you did the opening of my event, yes, <laughs> uh, where I started a clinic alongside him. With him, yeah. And um, so that was the first clinic that mm. I started. Mm. But at that time, I was six, seven months pregnant with my third child. But <laughs> Nadia... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that she can be a mother, she can be pregnant, but life goes on. And this is another thing. Hi, bed, jao, utho na, zada kaam na karo, baby ka khayal karo, and then they blame you for it, right? Yeah, but the yeah. thing is, that you have active rehna bahut zaruri hota hai. Yeah. You know? But I actually couldn't manage it. Really? You know, I couldn't manage the clinic for more than six months. Because Haan, thik, it, yeah, that's fine. it was too hectic. It was too hectic. And I actually had to manage the clinic alone uh, mm. to do everything from stocks to finances to marketing to God knows what all. And then because I was... Mabru Bhatti didn't happen here, right? It didn't happen here, you know. So that then, you know, like patient flow, you know, it was so much. And it was something completely new for me. Yeah. I mean, I was not used to doing it. Right. And when I, and with a new baby, I was like, mm. oh my God, I can't do this, you know. Fair so enough. it's like, I am just like, you know, it's just too much for me to handle. And anyway, I'd had the baby after a gap of like six years. Mm. So I was like, I cannot. This is the this. third baby. Or? This is the third one. Allah, we four. Yeah, 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 we because once I stopped the clinic, hmm. then Saba gave me the opportunity because I, you know, have been very friendly with her. So Saba gave me the opportunity. She said, you know, it doesn't matter. Tum apna clinic mat karo. Tum apna clinic mere salon pe karo. Ah. And jo tum apni convenience ke lihaas se, apna hmm. jena yahaan pe karo jo tumne karna hai. Ah. So that gave me a very, very big you know like Settled, relaxed huh. and you know like uh, uh, ke saath, huh. yeah bachon ke saath Time became bhi. very convenient huh. for Thik me uh, so I did that for huh. approximately a year and a half but then I kept on you know thinking because I, I'm one of those you know who's like if there is anything else that I have in mind, you know, I want to be in control myself, you know. Mm. So I'm not one of those who's like, you know, let's people decide for me. So I want to be in control. control yeah. So I, that was something that was a 
missing a bit you know like I wasn't apni jagah nahi thi apni jagah nahi thi so then I decided that I want to have my own clinic which started off being a clinic Hmm. but then ended up being a salon instead right. you know? okay but that's fine too also you know yeah, but you're so still doing the little bit of the clinic as well yeah, yeah i do, do I'm see doing that i dekhti rehti hu instagram ke no no because i do my side by side which is at the salon only huh, so huh. at my salon i do mostly two things i do makeup and i do aesthetics Take so the rest of the work the staff is doing hmm. and uh, i do these two things hmm. and other than that you know like so the salon started when i was uh, pregnant with my fourth child and again that was a huge huge you know like burden on me to have the salon and a fourth child uh, but by that time it was i think too late that i couldn't possibly you know how like, do um, you manage man tuition e school se uthana khana peena bimariyan ye wo birthday parties i can say that i have been very lucky to have the people around me to support me you know my mother my mm. husband my including my in-laws hmm. uh, you know from pick and drop to school and you know taking them for activities including hmm. my mother because my mother's also actually very hmm. active okay. driving around and this and that Excellent. blah blah you know so um taking them here and there that was not really it was always uh, and and actually another thing that i as a mother eventually realized after having the fourth one that i can't be in control of everything you know mm. i used to feel guilty initially because i was mm. one of those mothers who used to be like oh you know i want to sit with my children and you know like do the bedtime story and all of that and i used to do a lot of all that mm. and uh, but eventually after the third one and after the by after the third one things were still okay because i didn't have a place of my own you know mm. so i still used to do go for my modeling sh- whatever shoots mm. shows kiya mm. jo bhi hai you know lekin more often than not i used to put my child my children to bed and you yeah. know do all the bedtime yeah. story and all of that uh if not every day at least like four days in a week to ye hota hi tha na kahin na kahin kisi na kisi din chalo mm. miss ho gaya but after the fourth one because my salon had also started so then i had learned to just block my mind and give up on that you know because i was like i can't do everything you know mm. and i had i i kind of learned to de-stress about you know and not and delegate stuff you know so i was like i if i cannot be in control of everything then i need to just calm down i need to relax i need to let go of that nah, guilt. yeah i completely understand yeah. and i completely relate yeah. and for me just some ye baatein kar rahi hu main bolna chahungi ki ye pehla saal hai mera where i've actually learned this tumne jaldi seekh liya shukr hai tumne jaldi se because i've just I feel like okay, you have to let go, and of course, my children have helped me. They are much older now. They help you through these things because you know I'm also like that. एक एक चीज़ नहीं होती तो मुझे मुझे stress हो जाती है stress गुस्सा चढ़ना शुरू हो जाता है control नहीं होता you know it's it's you have to understand ki har cheez nahi ho sakti aur time lagta hai. And yeah. I think for women who are working, yeah, they need. to get over that guilt and they yeah. need to learn to delegate and they need to learn yeah. to let go yeah because it's not possible it's for not them possible. to do everything yeah. and it's not possible for everything to be perfect you know i am not one of those who wants everything perfect i'm not you know I, and, and i am okay with that you know like Achha, if i'm not okay with that now the mission is sabse badi problem ye but you are like uh, zurain was telling me you're a capricorn capricorn yeah So you're the mountain goat. Yeah. <laughs> and mountain goat, he was telling me, goes up, 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 yeah. up, up, up. Headstrong, up. very. It's headstrong. headstrong, but yeah. goes up. Yeah, yeah. Very ambitious and wants to do yeah. so many things and wants. But okay, I mean, there's still a lot. My God, that's what I keep saying. To achieve it, not cut. Because you already, you know, if you remove all the things, hata do. As a model, being a super model. is a ch- an achievement on on its own yeah. being able to have a lack of rupees at that age yeah. to invest into stocks yeah. that's a big deal yeah, because guess, you yeah. know what i mean <laughs> so agar aap sirf baki sab hata do ki dentistry bhi aati hai swimming bhi aati hai ji ye bhi yahan pe bhi tennis bhi khelna aata hai phir uh, you know uh, ha- mashallah bacche bhi cha rahe hain happily match getting along with your in-laws having a social media presence i mean nadia Woo! <laughs> I'm exhausted <laughs> just listening to it. But you know what I mean. That's on in its own, in its own an, a huge achievement. But I know that there'll be more coming also your way. You know, getting yeah, the franchise sure, again, yeah. also having a business mind. Um, so let's talk about a little bit about Nadia Hussain's style. 
बिकॉज यू आर नोन एज अ ब्लिंग क्वीन एंड एवरीबडी एंड यू ओन इट यार आई थिंक शुरू शुरू में लोग आके कहते थे उस टू मार्च और इस दिस थिंग और इस दैट थिंग बट द वे यू ओन डेट ओके यू टू कॉनरशिप तो मैं लोग बोलते थे आके क्या ये क्यों पहना हुआ है क्वीन ब्लिंग क्वीन नहीं ये क्यों पहना हुआ नहीं हो करते थे लेकिन दे यूज टू बी लाइक एन ओ यू नो दैट ओ माई गॉड लुक एट दिस एन ओ माई गॉड लुक एट हाउ डिज दैट स्टार्ट यार How did it start? I've always been. You know, my mother used to always, you know, tell me, "Ah, chamak chalo, chamak chalo." <laughs> I used to be like, "That's who I am." Mm. You know, I used to want to be overloaded. I used to like to be overloaded okay. with this and that, mm. and you know, like everything. You know, mm. like from the shoes to the jewelry to the headband to huh. the earrings. <laughs> Whether it was matching, not matching, I didn't but care. You there's know? a song. Will you be my chamak chalo? Isn't it like something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, huh? yeah. yeah, yeah. I want to be my but, chamak challo. Yeah, but huh? my mother used to always say, you know, that chamak challo banne ka bada shock hai. So I used to be like, yeah, that's who I am. Hmm. You know, I want, but hmm. she used to keep on wanting to, you know, like tone Suppress me down. Suppress you. Everyone wants down. to make you into something else. Yeah, but I, I don't think that she did it in a. No, I'm not saying that. But generally, not yeah. your mom. But I think it's always like that. Now, like somebody is always telling you in this culture, huh. we're very invested in. what other people should be like do the do do or whatever and but if listening. she used to like say it but she never used to stop me you huh. know like it was okay. one of the but like you know i do remember one time that i think i was like very very young like i don't know like maybe 11 12 years old and i remember that i wanted to buy these really high heels hmm. like at least 3 inch high heels i remember and uh, my mother was like no way you know she just put her foot down on that she's like there is no way i will let you <laughs> how old were you like 11 12 or ah, something so was very yeah, yeah. 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 but i was so adamant as like mujhe ye heels chahiye mujhe ye chahiye mujhe ye chahiye but main to khair maine maine bhi pahad tod di lekin ammi jana wo nahi bachi because i wanted my complete i remember it was so eid you know so i wanted that complete, complete eid look. look and all uh-huh. of that and those heels were like mm. you know fitting but she's like no way i will not allow you to buy these heels wow. so you know from that time i was one of those you know and now let's let everybody for everybody complete. who needs to see how blingy she is there go two phone hai tumhare yeah acha ye bhi tumhare liye bahut stressful hai ha you know yeah. having two phones is uh, it one personal one official no 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 then, no then what is it This is too much. मेरे भी मेरे एक मर्तबा तीन थे. हाँ. I slowly slowly letting go हाँ. because it's too much. हाँ हाँ. You know. No, what actually, I mean? one is a backup kind of a thing. Achha. You know, like with the battery and with okay. whatever not. You Achha, know, so okay. it's like yeah. So yeah. it's it's just one of those. Things. But let's so let's talk about the bling, yeah. Yeah. The okay, bling, the yeah. bling is here. The bling the is. The bling is here. And you were These telling me. I've done up myself. Can you imagine? ये कब किए हैं तुमने? क्या किया आपने इनके साथ बताएं? ये पूरा मैंने जिसके ऊपर जो है ना ये खुद ही लगाया. खुद ही लगाया है ये पूरे जूते को जना मैंने खुद ही ड्रेस अप किया है ये तो हमने बाजार से खरीदा और फिर उसके बाद सस्ते से बाजार से खरीदे और खुद ही इसके ऊपर मैंने लगा लिया बिकॉज़ आई आई हैव दीस स्ट्रिप्स ऑफ दीस डायमंड्स यू नो सो आई जस्ट कट इट ऑल अप एंड आई जस्ट स्टक इट ऑल ऑन आई स्टिल डोंट नो कि तुम्हें टाइम कैसे मिलता है नाउ टेल मी अबाउट द चिल्ड्रन योर डॉटर यू हैव हाउ मेनी वन डॉटर टू नो आई हैव टू डॉटर्स एंड टू आर दे लाइक यू I uh, like different. No, very different. I think all my kids. Uh, well, at least the older two have gone a lot on my husband. Very sober. Very you know like quiet. Yeah. Mm, not very quiet, but, but yeah, very sober. Balance with each other. And the two younger ones are the very you know Charati. like ha chala can you know like those like outgoing and outspoken types and. Yeah. Um, and because they've also been born in the this era of social media yeah, so they're very yeah. much into you know like following tiktok and doing you know like making their videos it's not a public they don't have a public account but you know they make their they like to do okay, their yeah. fun videos uh-huh. and all of that okay. and uh, so yeah I mean, a little bit like you so do chote tumhare par bade jo hai wo yeah 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 wow, yeah, okay, yeah, cool. yeah so all of this uh, journey जो अभी तक आई है एंड दैट आई एम सीइंग बट आल्सो समथिंग दैट अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल ऑब्वियसली जो जानते होंगे नादिया को बिकॉज शी ऑलमोस्ट हैज मिलियन फॉलोअर्स ऑन जस्ट ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एंड देन ऑन ऑन टिकटॉक तो मैं देखती रहती हूँ फिर तुमने बहुत सारी चीज़ें मैंने तुम्हें देखा कोविड में तुमने बहुत कुछ किया yeah. तो बहुत कुछ लोग क्वाइट हो गए थे Uh, there were uh, fewer people uh, doing things, you know. 
यू टुक द बोल बाय द हॉर्न जैसे कहते हैं भाई तुम्हारा वो जो कहते हैं गोट है वो पे चढ़ने लगा यू नो यू वर डूइंग अ लॉट ऑफ ट्यूटोरियल्स या एंड आई वाज डूइंग दिस 5 मिनट मेकअप चैलेंजेस व्हिच आई वाज डूइंग विद लाइक रैंडम वुमेन फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर पाकिस्तान बट टीचिंग पीपल कीपिंग एवरीवन एंगेज्ड एंटरटेनड एंड एंगेज्ड और मेरे साथ भी तुमने कैंपेन की थी हैंड वॉशिंग की यूज यू वांटेड पीपल टू नो और आई गॉट चीज जो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है नादिया के बारे में वो ये है कि ये एक एक्टिविस्ट भी हैं अभी रिसेंटली जो आप लोगों ने देखा होगा एक वायरल हुआ था वीडियो ऑफ इन गुलिस्तान आई डोंट नो जौहर वे दिस मैन फॉलो दिस गर्ल एंड देन नो ही डेंट फॉलो ही वाज जस्ट देयर एंड देन ही टुक ऑफ हिज शॉर्ट्स ओह नो आई थॉट ही फॉलोड बिकॉज़ ही मस्ट हैव क्रॉस्ड हर ऑन हिज मोटर बाइक या मे बी गॉट ऑफ एंड देन ही बिकॉज़ शी क्रॉस्ड हिम लेटर और फिर उसने वो जो सॉरी लुइड सी हरकत की और फिर पकड़ा भी गया सुना है तो नादियान ने इतने जोर शोर और शोर से एक पोस्ट उसके बारे में लगाई एंड यू नो यू आर वेरी एंड यू बिन डूइंग दैट मैंने ये देखा है कि वैन इट कम्स टू वेमेन एम्पावरमेंट सेक्शुअल हेरासमेंट इस तरह की चीज़ों पे तुम बहुत ज़्यादा आवाज़ उठाती हो और यू नो आई मीन वॉट वॉट बॉदर्स यू द मोस्ट एज अ मॉडल ऑब्वियसली तुम देखा कि लो फॉलो करते थे और हरासमेंट तुम्हारे साथ कभी हुआ है ऐसा किस्सा यू नो बिकॉज लाइफ लुक्स राइट नाउ माशाला माशा टच वर्ड टच वर्ड समय के इज हंकी डोरी एंड यू बिन लकी एंड यू ऑल्सो मेड वेरी गुड चॉइस इन लाइफ विच ऑल्सो अफेक्ट योर लाइफ लेकिन कभी ना कुछ ऐसा हुआ है तुम्हारे साथ जो जो तुम्हें इतना गुस्सा जिस चीज़ पर चढ़ता है इन चीज़ों पर चढ़ता है लड़कियों को चढ़ता है गुस्सा बट एवरी वन इज़ नॉट ऑबियसली इज वोकल इज यू आर So, well no I I remember I was followed when I was uh, when I was newly when I had come into this industry I was followed at that time hmm. uh in a Ah here's your green tea. Oh okay okay. Finally. Very good. Thank you for us. Yeah. Okay. Ha phir hmm so I remember I was followed and um on cv only and um I was coming back from I don't know what side I think I was coming back from Dolman side and I was coming on to see view and uh, so i didn't go home you know like because mm. my home was in cv but i went towards like the the raksha side and I, you know started mm. going into the gullies mm. and all of that and then i came back on to cv mm. and uh, on cv i saw police mobile mm. so i was like oh thank god you know <laughs> so police mobile like quickly you know like turned around mm. that guy was still behind me quickly turned around and i went to the police mobile and i stopped and the guy stopped right behind me he was in a cruiser or something oh no he was and in I a car and i stopped and i uh, you were walking or you were no, cycling no 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 i was in my car acha i was going yeah so but then i stopped at the police from bahar and hmm. i got out and i was hmm. like you know ki ye banda mera peecha kar raha hai hmm. and the guy you know kya casually got out and you know and then i police like, wala nahi 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 the guy in the car Achha, was he... following me oh, he stopped behind kya? me aur wo ruk gaya Yeah, yeah, he also stopped behind me. But when I went to the police guy and I told him, you know, कि ये बंदा मेरा पीछा कर रहा है, I was horrified to see that the police wala went to that guy and shook his hands and did this to him. And I was looking and I was like, excuse me, <laughs> what the? And that guy, the police guy, had already stopped for another car. कोई उसको चलान करने के लिए और ना God knows what service lane में I remember. And I was horrified i was like what like this is unbelievable that here i am complaining yeah. that this guy is following, following me aur wo uske haath mein la raha hai aur wo uske haath mein la raha hai jisne aapko protect karna hai wo banda yeah. us bande se ja ke haath mein la yeah because i don't know who that cruiser guy was maybe he was some police guy is you know like a uh, son or maybe he was a minister i have no idea who he was but when this happened i was so like livid that the only thing that i did was i took the opportunity and i just fled hmm. i got back in oh, my car and i just got out because do. you know i was like okay this is unbelievable ah, because you know, like, while these two are talking hai, who's not protecting you nobody's protecting yeah so me. while yeah. these two are talking i was yeah. like, okay this is the best time for me i just now another thing that happened when i went back in hmm. I think the guy had seen that I was, you know, going Dining. into some gully. Uh. So I went in. I had to take my mother to take her somewhere. So I quickly uh. went in. I was like, you know, okay. And I went and told my mother. I said, you know, this whatever X Y Z is following me and this and that, blah blah. My mother's like, you know, she's like, oh, me, me, to me, bolti ho ki to makiri na drive karo. And I was like, to hell with that, you know, this and that. So yeah. I was like, you know, kya apchale mere saath. Uh. And uh, so we got out, and the guy was standing right in front. My ghar ke saamne. Ghar ke saamne nahi, mere gate ke C view ke exit ke saamne khada hua tha. Because he didn't know where I was, so yeah. he was waiting at the exit. <gasps> 
So I went and I, you know, I told and I went stood right in front of her and I told my the security guard, I was like, hmm. you know, that this person is following me. And, uh, you know, like, this is the head of security of our here. I complained that this car is mine. And I stood there. Hmm. I didn't move, you know. I was hmm. like, you know, this is the guy. Hmm. And so, uh, since I stood there with my own, like, you know, security. S- community, ka yeah. security, CPU, uh, uh, security, I was standing there. I didn't move from there. Hmm. And then after a while, you know, that guy just, you know, left. Yeah. Because I was like, you know, can I kept looking at him. I was like, you know, kept they think he is doing what? You know, like mm. what? What is he going to do? Mm. Because it was out in the public. My mother was mm. sitting with me. There were a lot of guards around me, mm. who were the sea view guards, you know. Mm. And uh, so I was like, no, let's see, he is doing what? But then he kept looking, he kept staring, and I didn't even mm. bother to, you know, like feel timid. I was like, bloody you stood hell. up. <laughs> you know, You're like that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Can see that. yeah. And then, then, I mean, like I think that was much before I was married. Hmm. And in another incident that had happened after I was married, which again has been like too long, you know, that th- th- hmm. this uh, happened, that um, I was uh, driving, I was coming out of Tariq Salon, in fact, from PC. Hmm. And right outside PC at that traffic light, you know, going towards uh, the Sheraton side. I hmm. mean, now it's um, hmm. whatever, it's a uh, move and pick or whatever. Hmm. Yeah. So going towards that side, you know, like at the traffic light, I remember it was Ramzan. And it was like, you know, right towards Maghrib time. Hmm. And I had to go for a fashion shoot to hmm. Shamil Khodo studio, you know. Hmm. So I was like, yeah, I had yeah. to go straight down the road and then yeah, I had to yeah. go on to Clifton yeah. Bridge. So it there was so much traffic. There was so much. And I was not even dressed up. Like, you know, Tariq sometimes does all these crazy kinds uh, of like makeup. Uh, it was a very sober look, completely uh, like, you know, pulled back, low juda, yeah. And, you know, very minimalistic makeup. And... Um, <clears throat> I was doing the cover of uh, Al Karam's uh, magazine in which uh-huh. I was like, you know, posing as uh-huh. Mona Lisa. You know, so how Mona uh-huh. Lisa ka itna minimal makeup hai, to waisa hi makeup tha. To ab, main jab ja rahi hoon, to you know, like slowly, 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 slowly inching forward, there was a guy right in front of me on a motorbike who kept on looking back, kept on looking back. So after a while, I was like, you know, start getting irritated. As I looked at him, I said, yun karke shana mein usko. Mainne ka, kya hai? You know, I remember my sister-in-law was sitting with hmm. me hmm. and um, I was like, no, what are you doing? And, uh, you know, I got a shame with that thing or whatever hmm. it was hmm. because I was getting very hmm. irritated that he, you hmm. know, like, it was it was so slow thi traffic that hmm. he had, you know, like, the ample time, you know, on his bike, you know, sitting on his bike and looking back. So I was like, you know, getting so annoyed. So, khair, anyway, then, uh, you know, inching forward, inching forward. And then I was like, and then he started coming behind me. And he started looking in this bread view mirror, side view mirror, you know, karke na, mujhe ishare karne laga, you know, like, uh, matlab ke blowing me kisses, Oof. and then, you know, like, phir gande haat ke ishare and all mm. that. And I started getting even more and more mm. angry, you know. So I was mm. like, okay, this, I'm going to teach this guy a lesson. So the, even though the traffic was very slow, and right in front of Sheraton's side, because the traffic light mm. had opened, mm. So by that time, what I did, I really slowed down hmm. and this guy was in front of me. So I, ha- I gave myself ample space in front so that the cars would go and there were a lot of people in front of me. Oh, you turn, man. No, no, you huh? turn. Nahin. So this guy was right behind huh? me and then I gave him a really like, you know, I hit him on the side and he fell down. And then I went ahead and I zoomed off. And when I zoomed off and I turned left onto oh, that huh? um, gallery huh? wali road, the, an uncle came behind me. Hmm. And he's like, you know, stop right beside me. He's like, you know what you did? And I got on. I was like, you know what that guy was doing? <laughs> so I was like, you know, shut up. You know, like, I will do whatever the hell I want. And so that guy looked at me and I was like, just get out of here. You know, you can I sat back in the car and I was like, you know. Because people don't know. Or yeah. Nash- Nashmiya ke saath bhi ho chuka hai. Yeah. Again, I'm like saying the same thing. Nashmiya ki bhi shaadi ho chuki thi. She was followed. Now, the girls don't know this much. The girls don't know this much about these things. What I think at one time was that you were followed home. It was the scariest thing in the world. Because I'm sure it still happens. So happens, but yeah. it's less. Because I have a daughter. I know that whenever she's going, she's going to work, it's, I don't want her to go alone. I want her to have, uh, you know, the driver with her or somebody or the other with her. But because... 
इट हैपन्स टू द यंगर गर्ल्स एंड इट्स वेरी स्केरी बिकॉज वो जब गाड़ी में होते हैं तो वो आपके पास आ जाते हैं पैरल जाते हैं आगे आते हैं तो वो आपको स्लो डाउन कर देते हैं तो आपकी गाड़ी स्लो डाउन हो जाती है ठीक है इट्स वेरी वेरी स्केरी या फिर रेस लगाते हैं आई डोंट एंड इफ यू ट्राई टू डू द रेस एंड ट्राई गेट आई मीन आई हैव डन इट सो आई नो एग्जैक्टली हाउ यू फील एंड नशमिया ने भी यही किया था उसने इतनी उसकी अपनी मर्सिडीज खराब कर उसने तो एक्सीडेंट किया उसने उठा के मारी गाड़ी और वो फिर जब so पुलिस स्टेशन गए you know, और फिर वो गिर गिरा के माफिया मांगी उन्होंने पुलिस स्टेशन में कि बाजी अच्छा। बाजी सडनली शिप एक बाजी मुझे माफ कर दे you know so i remember when i was uh, when i had initially because like i'm i'm saying this incident must have been at least like you know i've been married almost 20 years this incident must be at least say like 15 years old you hmm. know this car this uh, me motorcycle doing wala. the siding yeah, the motorcycle yeah. guy i don't know whether he broke his leg or what he did i have oh, no clue and i yeah. i really don't give a shit Damn. you know yeah. yeah but um i remember going on to a lot of channels and talking about this as well and hmm. you know saying you know somebody hmm. asking ki ji agar aapko yahi jis tarah you ask yeah. ki gussa hmm. and all that maine kaha is some kind of incident hua tha so i remember in those days it being printed as news that oh nadia hussain has anger management issues acha main ek baat bolungi okay aur main batana chahti hu ki people logo ko pata nahi hai ki sexual harassment ka matlab kya hai agar ek aadmi ek ladki ki taraf dekhe aur wo is ladki ko uncomfortable feel karwaye because there is a way that you look at a woman it can be very complimentary and it can be very very disgusting because if it makes you feel even that is considered sexual harassment pata nahi hai na logon ko hmm. you know aur ladkiyon ko rights ka nahi pata and it's aam sham hmm. aam sham hai you know ye cheez aam sham hoti hai aur jo me too campaign nikli thi to usme to ye cheeze aur bhi zyada nikal ke aayi thi na us usi waqt nikal ke aayi thi to socho ke ye sirf hamare saath nahi 15 saal pehle to khair nahi 15 saal abhi hua hai na 5 yeah. saal pehle yeah. you know in 2018 but it, you know what i was really angry about was hmm. you know the fact that, that people rather than understanding angry. my ah. perspective yeah, what is the kasoor tumhara hai they like oh you know she model has ho. anger management nahi aur to model ho kyun tum nikli bhai ghar se kyun nikli nahi nahi i think that was not the thing you know like because i reacted in the way that i yeah, reacted and yeah. i was proud about it yeah so you know that is what people took in the because in the others and oh she has anger Nadia, management wo, wo, issues where would you have gone 2010 mein the sexual harassment ka wo bill nikla tha theek hai na but i'm just saying abhi nikla hai na it's not that or wo it's so difficult to prove also it's very very difficult to prove but who is going to protect you jab wo police wala haath mein la raha hai ja ke dusre kiske paas tum jaoge yeah because ab aksar tumne suna hoga taaki jab wo jaati hai police station jaise mukhtar amai ne yahan baith ke bataya tha khud ki jab main police station gayi thi mujhe to wo bhi protect nahi kar rahe the na unhone to jhooti wo to anpad aurat thi usse sign karwa liya you know jhooti because wo milk in ke sath mile mujhe bade hain unke sath mile hue so who is going to protect you yeah. if you don't protect yourself right why yeah. do girls bahar ke mulk mein maze leke ghum rahi hoti hain yeah yeah haan apne bottomon mein dali hoti hain unki bhi anger management hai yeah you know kya <laughs> hai it is it is self defense huh? you know like yeah. i just stuck to it and i was like you know i did it because i had to defend myself yeah. but now yes it was really i was getting extremely angry at what he was doing i was not you know like thinking hai ye kyun kar raha hai mujhe to aur jitna wo kar raha tha mujhe aur zyada gussa aa raha tha exactly. you know ki yeah. how dare he behave like yeah. this with me it was my yeah. you know like perspective and also that is why i think that just you know jab bhi is tarah ki cheeze hoti hain maine dekha hai ki you always speak up because you and are I protecting it, those girls yeah, and, yeah, and, 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 and you i have think to stand i want up to, and support them yeah and i think uh-huh. i want to give that kind of um, example i want to be that kind of example to be able to hmm. be somebody who will stand up to such morons you yeah, know because yeah. they are morons yeah. at the end of the day yeah. and to not be a coward in front of them you know right. there have been many times yeah. when i have um, shoved off hands you know of me yeah. uh, you know somebody wanting to come and take a selfie with me and yeah. you know like bahut hi jo hai na wo aap aim hi mein free ho ke aise karke haath rakha sir be like excuse me you know yeah. like i've shoved off hands yeah. of me like you know yeah. just not feeling cowardly about it you know right. like i'm not one of those yeah. who's be going to be a coward i'm going to you know like take them head on because right. that's what my star sign yeah. is right yeah. i'm a goat so i'm going to take them head on with my yeah. horns you know yeah. so i think also um, in the industry you have faced certain 
issues. I mean, I've read some things about, you know, when you started your makeup brand. You have a makeup brand, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's your makeup brand called? Nadia Osai. Bling by Nadia Osai. Bling, <laughs> great bling. We're just so apt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so also when you started that, you had, uh, you know, one of our, um, you know, sort of premier uh, makeup artists who also has a brand also said a few things and you went and you defended yourself in a very polite, well-mannered way, mm. very appropriate way. So this also happens in your industry. You know, it's not just that the attacks are coming on other fronts, but you do stand up for yourself and yeah, you do yeah, yeah. say say it like it is, you know. And I think, uh, and I think that's a very yeah, important thing that Aapko, jis cheez mein aap believe karte ho, uske liye aapko stand up karna I think hai. that I, I believe that you know like where um, you should not and you cannot let anybody else trample upon you you know mm. like that's what I believe mm. whether it be in a relationship yeah, yeah, whether yeah. it be in friendship whether it be, be in anything you I know? like I totally agree 100%. I totally believe that you cannot let anybody trample upon you mm. especially when you've not done anything wrong, you That's know. Right. Yeah. I mean, if yeah. there is something, if there is a product that I, I mean, like there are millions of brands in this world mm. and all the brands in this world are doing similar things. Everybody mm. has a foundation, everybody has yeah. a makeup, everybody has powders, yeah. everybody does lip gloss. One, you know, like brand comes up with like a plumping lip gloss, the next brands are all going to do plumping lip glosses, yes. you know. So it's yeah. like, it's just one of those things. Mm. And if it was a demand from my brand, to have a similar product, that's what I did. I mm. satisfied my customer's need. Mm. And in a different way. Because, mm. you know, it was a totally, it is a totally different product. It mm. might be similar, but it's mm. a different product at the right. end of the day. Right. But it was my customer's demand and I fulfilled their demand. And, um, mashallah, alhamdulillah, I'd say I fulfilled it in a much better and more complete way. Because it's an, actually, it's a complete makeup uh, 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 palette, you know. Mm. Like, it's not just a touch-up palette. It's a complete makeup palette where you can even do your eyes, you can do your lips, you can do, you know, like your eyebrows. You can do everything in that, mm. you know. you can. There's a highlighter, there's a lot of other things right. in that. So it's a, it's a travel kit, you know. Yeah. Like, it's a different yeah, thing. Yeah, that's what we get on the duty fees, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it's not a copyrighted it. product, yeah, you know. Yeah. So, like, how can anybody tell me that, you know, like, right. I have... Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I understand. But I think I think more than that, uh, the important message is that you must stand up. Yeah. For when you haven't, you feel that you have not, you haven't done anything wrong, and also that it can hurt your brand also. Yeah. Because you've got a brand out there. So now, I think I've covered everything. Pretty much. Is there something that Nadia Hassan wants to do now? I mean, yeah, there are, I'd say that, you know, there are many things that I would want to do. I mean, I would want to expand my brand even more. Okay. Uh, that is something that I want to do now. You know, of course, uh, it's become extremely competitive, generally saying, mm. you know, like having yeah. a brand yeah. and uh, having that kind of... Um, those kinds of products and, you know, the distribution and all of that. It's a very, 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 you know, like tedious process mm. and it's very, um, it's very difficult, you know. Mm. And uh, so if I want to expand my brand into other things, you know, like not just makeup. So this I, is your own entrepreneurship. This is not coming from another company. No, to you. no, no. This no. you've done yourself. Yeah, yeah. So just yeah. uh, Mitsarat Mizbani ki hai, unke bhi brand hai. Yeah. Right? But Atika, I do Atika have, bhi ki hai. yeah, I huh. do have a partner. Like my huh. salon is completely my own. It's my, myself and yeah. my husband's. Yeah. Uh, my brand is myself and an investing partner. But okay. you know, like, uh, because an, at that time I just didn't have the money. Yeah, I just Understand. invested in yeah. my salon but it's good to have an investor it yeah. makes your brand more uh, viable and it makes it more successful yeah. yeah so you know that is the but it is my it's, it's baby. our baby yeah, yeah you know that it's just something that yeah. so there is nobody calling the shots for me you know it's just yeah. me doing it myself so yeah. also I think just coming back to the modeling part of it what do you think of the you're not doing a lot are you doing a lot of work with fashion brands no i see that i think you're more focused on public and and people who come to your clients and stuff like that fashion ka mujhe batao what do you think ke fashion ka kya haal hai is waqt nahi to ha bolo because i want to know because we put out a video and obviously there were a lot of reactions to that video but this is, was my opinion you know that uh, for the fashion museum Huh. And for the fashion gala, because there's no platforms left for fashion, yeah. except social media, which yeah. is 
which can you know, be I paid think for. You know, because fashion is now all about commercialism, I think that fashion for the sake of art has completely died. Creativity, yeah. Creativity huh. art, you know, huh. like, it's, it's all about commercialism. It's all about, you know, selling your brand on social media, selling huh. your product on social media. Um, so the creativity and art has completely died, you know, which I yeah. feel is so, so sad, sad because I remember doing such amazing shows. With such beautiful clothes. Oh my God. Like not just beautiful, mm. creative clothes, yeah. you know, like just out of the box collections, yeah. you know, like something which is not wearable. But mm. it's fine. Yeah. And it's it was fun. On, yeah, and yeah. it's, you know, that is what fashion does not have to be wearable for mm. god's sake you know fashion is not about it's inspirational wearable. it's about design it's about design it's mm. about art it's about creativity mm. it's about yeah. you know like anything i mean mm. you know like to to have a collection should not mean that you have to sell it for god's sake sometimes you want to do something mm. to be able to make an impact yeah. you know like make a an artistic impact or you know like yeah. do anything else so I, right. I mean like amongst the shows that i remember uh, that I really feel that, oh my God, wow, you know, like what a fantastic collection was definitely on the top of my list is Nomi and Sari's Cirque du Soleil. Oh, I love that. Oh my God. What, what, a, a, yeah. like, what detail has gone into that? Us dressed up as clowns. I mean, really as glamorous clowns. Yeah. And who in the world would think of doing that in today's day and age? Because social media, ki se to hari ko, wo, us designer ko, ko so it's all about selling editorial what is, bhi hai na. Nahi hai na. And fashion weeks bhi nahi hai. fashion nahi. week uh, editorial to tha na, ke, bhai, hai, ye sirf designer show kar sakte hain. Hmm? Yeah. Mein jo itni hoti thi. And you think now that fashion does need something. Yes. Yeah? Okay. So, yeah. okay. so you're with me on that. What about models? Tell me. We had this lovely session. We had these educated, wonderful girls. But obviously, so, you know, mein I... uneducated. We were discussing that. Yeah. Na? There were a lot of uneducated girls also. But there was that whole wow factor up to influencers are going or yes what do you feel about the, you know when we did the whole modeling thing what did you think of that uh the 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 round table. round table yeah so you know like amongst the girls i i say even now that you hmm. know like there are models hmm. now hmm. you sl- open social media and hmm. there will be a model hmm. you hmm. know hmm. everybody and hmm. their sisters and brothers and huh. you know mothers and fathers yeah. and everybody you huh. know on their description is like you know i'm a model hmm. influencer be nee, not influencer rather hmm. but just you know yeah. saying that i'm a yeah. model yeah. and uh, you know so you pick up a rock and there's a model you know <laughs> so like it's like you know like i mean uh, i don't understand what and also is supermodel ka wo jo apne aap ko hi title hmm. de dete hain title so, like i'm saying that i'm not sure what it is that you know like uh, is the is there any criteria of models left anymore hmm. is there not i mean you know there yeah. are of course i'm not saying that diversity is not good diversity is very good where we do see the short models as well we yeah. do see slightly overweight as hmm. well we do see the dark we do yeah. see the you know like yeah. the conventional yeah. whatever you know yeah. so called Pakistan ke liha se but supermodel ka concept jo hai wo khatam ho gaya supermodel to ab koi hai hi nahi i would say you know haan. everybody is just a model there's haan. no supermodel because you know i feel that uh, you know to to have that kind of um, i don't know i mean like i feel that a supermodel is somebody who is known across the board you know everybody has to know who they are you know and uh, they they have to be able to do print and ramp and you know and that is something hmm. that i feel and make money also and it was money. about yeah. money yeah. it was a super power ka matlab ye tha ke unke par power isliye kyunki they are the richest countries in the world hmm. so i mean i also have a problem with the word super hmm. super power for hmm. me super power is um, it could be an edi satar hmm. that's a super power to hmm. me hmm. but hmm. people have a very different connotation and it is a word that came out in the 80s yeah. and and then nine obviously the models supermodels ban gayi because they were making millions of dollars hmm. and they were selling products so yeah. they became super yeah. but i think also super eventually became somebody who also had personality and hmm. took things forward so whether you had iman uh in the 70s mm-hmm. the first uh, african american model then you had 
people, Paulina, and then you had different models coming up from that. And then, of course, the era of the supermodels happened. And then it kind of slided also abroad hmm. because you had the... Then you had Victoria's Secret models. They yeah. became super girls, yeah, right? Yeah. And then now it's completely changed. Yeah. So you still have Gigi and Bella who are very well known, but mm. it's when you when you think of third name, you can't come up with one. Yeah. Because yeah. you don't know who they are yeah. anymore. Yeah. You know, so I think I think it's just a global thing also. And I think yeah, you know, I, I think with it the is because I think that fashion has become so accessible now yeah. to everybody. And yeah. you know, there was yeah. a time when actually print was king yes now print is not king you know like social media yeah. is king yeah. you know so yeah. like now it's it's not about who is uh, defining the supermodel initially it was the print that was uh, defining the supermodel you know right. because it was just the power of print and you know whatever was in print people right. believed that you right. know yeah. and so now it's not that now mm. your own social media is king mm. and your own yeah. content is king and whatever right. that you're doing on your own social media yeah. however you are wanting to define yourself on your own social media is that what people are, are going to believe because it's not anybody dictating right. anything to yeah. anybody and yeah. it's anybody who wants to and who believes who they are and is able to convince the other person of what they are that's what people will believe you know like right. it, and it doesn't matter it's yeah. beyond that it's nothing yeah. so I, I feel that you know like print was something that um, really defined what and who was yeah super being on the cover time. you know editorial again yeah editorial. no whether it was designers yeah whether it was makeup artists right. whether it was models yeah. whether it was uh, yeah. you know like uh, b even magazines for that right. matter whether yeah. it was photographers mm. uh, there was just a set number of photographers you know yeah. who were the top ones because you right. know like everybody believed that it, they were the top ones because they were defined as the top ones but, but also their work defined it they, they were they were of course very good yeah. but it's not as though they were others who were not good there were mm. others who were also equally good, but they mm. never got the platform. But now mm. through social media, everybody, everybody has, has their own platform. platform. So right. they can, they mm. can, I understand. They can, you know, like mm. show and showcase whatever mm. it is that they are good at, you know, yeah. and they get their so own So it's good platform. in a way, at least for the fashion industry, the photographers being able to get people out there. The only problem is there's no criteria to, it's very difficult for its skilled fashion. It's yeah. killed fashion. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, yeah. it definitely killed yeah. fashion, but it can. It's helped influencers and it's helped celebrities also because they do the modeling also. Yeah, and people who are not such good designers to be part of it. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. yeah, we did ask. We didn't touch upon the acting part of it. Mm. Now you're doing a lot of acting, right? Yeah, now. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. What yeah, are you doing yeah. right now? Oh, I'm doing a lot of dramas and, you know, like being the typical negative. Yes, why is this? Why is your anger management going from there? I think that they've made it. They've stereotyped. Stereotyped, yeah, 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 definitely. You know, like because of just what it is. I mean, even in my dramas, you know, like if I am supposed to be the rich, bitchy sass, then, you know, like I'm dressed modern and I have, you know, like I'm, I have a certain sense of style and, you know, all of that. And I have to be bitchy then, you know, like because that certain sense of style and wearing Western clothes means that you're, and Western clothes being rich means that you're a bitch. You know, that's Why? it. Why? That's it's what it is on television. Hai. And the minute that, you know, like I'm supposed to change mm. and, you know, like my persona has to change and, you know, like my thinking and the negativity mm. dies down. Mm. Because that is supposed to be the positive and parsa yes, image. Yes, you know? uh, this is a very wrong thing that's yeah. happening on television. That if you have a girl, Bob, hoga, और उसने एक वेस्टर्न कपड़े पहने होंगे तो उसको ऑटोमेटिकली एक बॉक्स में डाल दिया हां या 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 शी इज नेगेटिव सो द सेम इज विद मी यू नो बिकॉज़ इट्स इट्स लाइक इफ आई हैव दैट काइंड ऑफ लुक व्हिच इज अल्ट्रा फैशनेबल एंड अल्ट्रा यू नो लाइक मॉडर्न एंड बीइंग सच एन एक्टिविस्ट एंड तुम कर क्यों रही हो फिर ये is because, it to drive your brand maybe well i think that you know it's a mixture of everything uh, uh, you know like me having a presence on television gives me that kind of feed uh, gives me that kind of recognition across mm. the board mm. with the generation of today yeah and it's like i met like you know somebody uh, this is recently that i met like these mm. uh, this girl in lahore i mean a couple of girls actually i met and i keep on meeting all these young yeah. models and you know like um, i'm not saying that that's bad but it's like 
wow, you know, like, I mean, that's what uh, life is, is that, uh, you know, they're like, hey, this, this was a young model and, you know, she's mm. modeling in Lahore. And uh, so she's like, you know, K O, you know, where are you from? So I was like, you know, I'm from Karachi. And uh, she didn't know who you were. No, she yeah. didn't. Mm. And she's been actively modeling for the past, like, three, four years. Mm. Uh, so I was like, you know, that it's the truth, you know, this is what life is. This that is, is what, uh, this yeah. is what it is that, you know, mm. like there will be many yeah. again, that's it comes down to the same thing that, mm. you know, because there is no print and, you know, like whoever is maybe following me on social media or if there is any news about me on mm. social media, only then maybe will they get so to you, find out who I am. So this is precisely why we want to do the museum. Because I think we have 75 years of history of Pakistan fashion and heritage. We need to bring the creativity back. And we also think that we need to preserve what's happened. Who yeah. were the girls? You know, you have an age of er every era mm. and you've had the models, you've had the designers, you've but had I'm the I'm not virgins. sure if the young generation is even going to be remotely interested well, in that. It's, it's not just for the young generation, it's for Pakistan. So yeah. it's, it's not, a museum is always something that preserves mm. history. Mm. And people who are students of fashion and people who are, they will go there, mm. you know, and there's always ways of bringing attention to things, mm. you know, and I think that is uh, very important as an industry or people who've been in the industry to give back and make sure that that heritage doesn't go, whether mm. it's in books. You know, you're in quite a few books with Tapu and all that, but you're right, it's the digital era and they don't know it, and it doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, it doesn't so matter. that also. is why mm. I, fe I felt that if I'm going to be, you know, like, yeah. that is the diversity that I want to continue, continue. that, you know, apart from the brand, salon, apart salon. from the brand, you mm. know, I need to be actively seen on television yeah. because that is a medium that yeah. people do watch whether yeah. it's on television or whether it's yeah. on YouTube hmm. um, because that adds to my value you yes, know I uh, agree. as a celebrity I agree and, uh, and so I think I feel it's very good point that Nadia has made just now and I am going to say this which is uh, diversity diversifying your portfolio hmm. and your work so that you are relevant hmm. you know nobody wants to be irrelevant yeah. nobody wants to get lost in history mm -hmm. you know and I think to keep your brand relevant mm. which is the Nadia Hussain brand yeah. yes I've been a supermodel yes I have a salon yes I've done shoes and bags and I'm doing my makeup brand but here I'm also on television mm. and I'm visible which is uh, I would always say Bushra and Sari is my favorite or maybe Javed Sheikh as an actor yeah. but they're also in a they just do that. You've yeah. done a lot of different things. Yeah. And yeah. also the inspiration that if you are a model and you think you can't do anything, you can. But actually I've been acting for a very, very mm. long time. Yeah. It's just that I didn't have that kind of time to mm. dedicate to doing that much right. amount or volume of work, right. you know. Yeah. So I would always do like roles which were required for lesser days yeah. because I had the children. Yes. And you know, I you couldn't manage. Balancing it, you know? Yeah. Balancing so I I mean, the television pe kaam kar rahi thi. Huh. constantly I've been huh. working but doing small small, small roles, small you know. Things. So but yeah. now I'm doing it more in like you know longer durations right. and I can give that kind of time because I feel right. now that my kids are older you know like they're much yeah, more settled yeah. in their routine and hopefully Nadia will get better roles where she yeah, can I keep showcase her acting abilities I keep on fighting with the producers directors that please for God's sake don't give me a negative role again yeah. but now I'm like okay if, if, if they're willing to pay me the money hmm. then fine to hell with it you know honestly I, I feel that I personally feel that scripts nowadays and dramas, whatever is being produced nowadays, mm. is based, it is a huge, huge debate. And my point of view mm. is that it is driven by what the audience wants because mm. it is a business at the end mm. of the day. You know, if my bride comes and says, Ki mujhe chitta kar do, ah, ye to then I will have to do that, you know, mm. because at the end of the day, she is paying me and she's you know like mm. wanting a certain thing mm. same thing is with the producer mm. if the producer is producing a content mm. they are not going to produce content which will not sell yeah. or which will not yeah. give them with which will not pay yeah. them back yeah. because everybody is in this for the sake of business you mm. know like i mean and that's what's happened even with these designers mm. that they are completely they've moved to, towards okay. commercialism yeah. because they just want to you know like 
make, make money, money. Right? i mean it, yeah. it is all about that cuz survival mm. in today's mm. world is mm. extremely difficult mm. there is so much competition and it's going to become even Your worse more, you huh? know like i feel that covid was actually a way to reduce population mm. so that there is lesser competition mm. in this world you know mm. because the more the population the more the competition the mm. tougher is going to get and everybody is not geared up mentally to survive you know survival of the fittest it is survival of the fittest but everybody is not mentally geared for that everybody is mm. not mentally competitive you mm. know like one keeps on wanting to tell children that oh you know like go at your own pace and do this and but i think that's not something mm. that children of today's generation world, z is very different yeah, they, they don't have work to they don't work. be competitive yeah. you know yeah. i mean maybe in our day and age mm. you know like in our time mm. it was slightly yeah. different but i feel that in today's day and age mm. it's all about competition and they have to be geared for the competition yeah. And so I would like to say thank you very much to Nadia for coming on the show. Hi guys, this is Nadia Hussain and I am here with Fihal Ta for the FY podcast. Do not forget to watch, like and subscribe.